All right. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, A, D, D, hmm. Anish, Arnavi, okay. Why is it A, Arnavi? Can you explain? As I'll ask you the explanation part also. Randomly note. Okay. Most of the majority wins, it's D. Okay. Tell me. Arnavi, can you unmute and tell me why did you choose A? I think it's A. You're still thinking, dear. Abhinav, why A? Huh? Why A? Mona, correct, correct. Lasya, correct. It is D. Those who have answered D, put a happy face next to that answer. Okay. Okay, in the chat box, those who answered D, give me a smiley. Right? Give me a smiley, everyone. Good. Amazing. Sneha, yeah, good. Be happy you scored one point. Okay. Now, now let me explain this. After her first day on the job, the school's new primary teacher realized that she would be much busier. So she came to know that, okay, what she thought was just opposite. She might have thought it's just a teaching job. And on her first day, especially, you know, new primary teacher, she came to know that the day was busier. She had been led to believe. Okay, she thought it was, won't be this busy. Now, now, not only she was assisting the other teachers with her work, but the principal has inundated. Inundated means what? What does it mean, inundated? That's okay. Sometimes it happens. So you need to work more better on your understanding of the context. But the principal has inundated her with other tasks such as creating lesson plans. Okay, first, first set, you know, just before the blank, before the underlined word, what you see is she thought it won't be that busy. But being the minute she came, she was so much completely swamped. What's the meaning of swamped? What's the meaning of swamped? I was swamped with my midterm exams. So I couldn't attend the sessions. I couldn't attend the party. I was completely swamped with my assignments. Hence, I couldn't attend the party. What do I mean by that? I was completely swamped with my assignments. Hence, I couldn't provide uh, Shri with her planner. What do I mean by that? Swamped. I was given so much of work. So much. I was completely overloaded. Absolutely engaged, surrounded. Uh, actually, swamp means like, what is a swamp? Like flooded, right? You're flooded with something. You're overloaded. You're given, thrown so much of work on you, right? That's exactly what happened with this school teacher who thought it won't be that busy. But the minute she came to, uh, she started her day, her principal was giving her so many other tasks such as creating lesson plans, managing attendance of the students, maintaining a daily record of homework of the students. She was exhausted. You know, that, that's a hint. Exhausted. When do somebody gets exhausted? When they're provided with her other task or assaulted? Hey, come on. Assaulted is absolutely negative. <laughs> somebody getting assaulted means bullied or something, right? Huh. So under, underwhelmed, overwhelmed means super excited, happy. How would she be so happy when she has been completely swarmed or flooded with so much of her? And finally, we end up with D, overloaded. Guys, keep, remember one thing, when you're trying to do elimination, when you look around, look for the clues, always try to see why your answer is correct versus the rest of the three. Okay, don't just blindly tick off the correct answer. Do some introspection. Okay, why provided is not the correct one. See, plug in that option and see whether that fits to the, the you know, uh, the right meaning or not. No, assaulted, how can she be, she be assaulted? Underwhelmed is like she's not so happy. Overloaded is the right one. So this is how you have to assess the right answers. So everyone who have marked the well done with those who haven't, try this one. Okay, there's always better luck next time. At least this for this practice. Take a minute.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. B. Chalo. Somebody explain me. What did Bhargava send me? Did he send anything to me? No. Okay. Abhinav, why you always think? Why is it like not sure? Come on, Abhinav. I want to hear you. Why is your answer B? Why not A, C or D? Come on. Teach us. See, you know what? If you teach someone, no, you will remember your points faster or it will be long lasting. You will remember it for longer time. Come on, Abhinav. Teach us. Why is it B? Abhinav? You, you're around? Okay. All right. So Abhinav is not around. How about Jaswant? Would you mind unmuting and explaining us to why is it B? Why is it not preparing, inscribing or transmitting? Transmitting means sending, no ma'am. Absolutely. So that's ruled out. What next? Chalo, inscribing eliminate. means writing. F, good. For inscribing means for script. Okay, good. Ruled out. How about preparing? Magnetic coils of wire lie just beneath the pavement preparing each passing car. Silly. What nonsense is this? Recording. See, it is trying to record. That's exactly what it's telling. No cascade of information. What do we, what do, we do with information? We record information. That's called data, right? Data is nothing but your info collection of information or recording of something. Correct? So if you read the rest of the passage, not needed actually, when you look around magnetic coils of wire light just beneath the pavement, registering means recording each passing car. It is trying to record some information through these cars which are going over it. Correct? All right. Is this clear with the, with the detailing explanation part? Okay. So always, always, always try to look around for the other options also. Don't blindly feel, oh, I know, I know it's making sense. So you are marking it. Okay, the last one for every bar. And get ready. If your answer is correct, I will ask someone to explain also. It's a very good quality if you try to explain others. Yes. Okay. Acha, Vishnu, Vibha, Vibhas. Okay. Right. Good. Deepika. Deepika, would you mind answering for us? Unmute your mic. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Kwan. Quality, it actually describes the character. So it is similar to the characteristic. Very good. Why is it not standard prestige and accomplishments? I want that. Because they are not very related to it. Mm. Standard, it is not related. It is not giving the accurate information about it. Mm. And prestige is the same. And the other one. I couldn't able to see that. The accomplishments is like accomplishments, no, no, it cannot be considered as an answer, ma'am, because huh, there is nothing related to that, right? No, yeah, this yes, would yes. be the previous sentence should give him something like he won this, he got some rewards, people did this, that, and so on. See, but they are just describing the qualities, so it is related to the characteristic. Yes, very true. So, Jay, Jay Gatsby was balancing himself on the dashboard of his car, car with that resourcefulness of moment. That is particularly American. So, that's the quality of his, right? That's the personality trait of his, right? That comes, I suppose, with the absence of lifting work in youth and even more with the formless grace of a nervous sporadic games. So, basically, the this is a description about the so-called quality of something. Right? So, characteristic, which is nothing but an attribute. Okay? Attribute is the character of something. So, very correct, Hanvita and everyone. Again, smiley faces. Come on, pep up your energy. Smiley faces in the chat box. 
You're all doing pretty well, very well. This is a question from your Khans Academy. Please also work on your Khans Academy because that would be all the basic questions, but very good explanation. Yes, Mona, you know, you're, Mona, why are you so so much like happy? All your answers are correct. And she like, good gracious, touch wood, all my answers should be correct on my real test date also. Right? All right, good. That should be the spirit. Now let's work on the next type of uh, our concept. We are done with the words in context, the six questions. It can be sentence completion. It can be your words in context or meaning of the context. So now that you understood, you got a good grip over how to work out with the words in context questions. Now let's move on to understand yet another most important or major, just like the percentage of questions for vocab questions. This is again close to eight to 10 questions or six to eight questions will be there just on these questions. So pay attention, learn it, uh, learn it like a concept. Don't buy heart. Okay. Never ever cram anything that's not going to sustain for longer time. Right. So the th thing that you're going to learn today in this practice based session is transitions. Yesterday, I have just introduced three important transitional types because for understanding the vocab also, based on the sentence, if you find and, therefore, hence, thus, there are also clues to find your actual answer for your words in context. So do the continu continuation because we did words in context just like the phrase logically, uh, you know, what is what is it inferring and all that. Just like the transitional questions also have phrases similar to uh, like this, you know, most logical transition, transition words or phrases. Okay. So today we are going to learn all this with practice questions. Back to back, there are close to 10 pra practice questions. After that, I'll also give you uh, some practice questions and then we will be having, if time permits, in the next session, we will have a practice test. All right. Now that you understood that we are going to learn about transitional questions and they're, they're like 35, 30 to 35 percent of your, not just only for the sake of questions, but throughout your test, you'll find these transitions and they're very important to understand where they are being placed. Their placement between two sentences or two meaningful sentences, you're trying to find the relationship between the two sentences, okay? Uh, two sentences cannot be mashed up like that. You have to put and or any fanboys that we discussed in the first session. Okay. Or there are coordinate conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions. How many of you are familiar with these subordinate conjunctions, adverbal conjunctions, coordinate conjunctions, fanboys? Fanboys? Everybody in the chat box, what is fanboys? What are fanboys? Everyone in the chat box, what are fanboys? Very, very important. They are the regular ones. Good, good, good. Faster, faster. For, nor, or, at. Why at is... <laughs> okay. For, and, nor, but, or, yet. So, absolutely, Vishnu. Vishnu is like copy pasted, like check, check. I mean, you didn't do it, but very quick, very quick in the chat box. Good, good. Amazing. All right. So now that you understood these fanboys, some of them, let's under, let's categorize them. Okay. Based on the categories, you will understand the importance of these connectors or transitions. What are they doing in the sentence? Like first sentence is talking about agreement of something. The second part is saying something. So you should look for the agreements. If the sentences are giving some agreement feeling, so you should look for agreement related connectors. If the, if the passage is talking about first sentence talks about something, while the second sentence is absolutely in contrast, you should look for what type of connectors? What type of connectors you should look for or transitions? You know what? In IELTS, we call it as connectors. And in SAT, we call it as transitions. So I have to switch on here and there. So you will be using contra contrasting or contradiction related transitions, category of transitions. Right. 
So as I said, there are three varieties and uh, three varieties, one are continuers, which actually show similar ideas. So if you have a connector, sorry, a transition between the first paragraph and second paragraph, if you see that they're both are similar ideas, the writer or the author is giving the similar ideas, both the sentences, and you use a connect continuer, then you, this is what? This is an agreement based type of uh, paragraph, right? So if you look at indeed, when we say indeed, <clears throat> when do we use indeed? Yes. And there are again list of continuers. We have and for adding information and also furthermore, in addition, moreover, these are all continuers. That means you said something and you want to add one more information. So we either use I'll also, I I'll also and furthermore, these are your continuer type of transitions. If you want to add an example, let's say you have made a statement and you want to give an example to validate your, uh, you know, your statement, you will give an example, right? To give more evidence. Absolutely, Maha, when we intensify the previous idea. Very true. Very true. Good. I'm happy that you're all active in the chat box. That means you're all actually listening to me. Phew. <laughs> so indeed is used to emphasize here. Look at this under the category of emphasis. It amplifies. Okay. It amplifies the previous statement. So then you will be using indeed. If you look at the example, your analysis of the novel, novel themes is insightful. And I want to amplify it. I want to add a little more. Uh, you know, tone to it. Indeed, your interpretation sheds new life on the protagonist's journey. Who is a protagonist? Protagonist. Who is a protagonist? And what's the opposite of protagonist? Ma'am, the main character. Absolutely. And or the hero. And, okay. huh. and huh. you're saying something, something? with the anti -human. Yes, good. Main character. And who is an antagonist? Guys, good, good, good going, good going. Antagonist, Veda, good. Mona, good. Villain, yes. In in simple terms, he is the villain. Okay, right. So antagonist. So we are talking about the protagonist. So indeed means uh, it gives it connects to the previous sentence by emphasizing or amplifying the description part. Next, if you look at the second example, lentils are excellent way to add plant-based protein to one's diet. Okay, that's a statement. Now, similarly, what is similarly doing over there? What is it doing it over there? The transition is a continuer, of course. But what's the function of similarly? When do we use similarly? Huh? When do we use similarly? Yes. Sim we are not, comp okay, to compare. Similarly means same like the, just like lentils, even some legumes are also there, like beans, chickpeas. So we are trying to add similar information, okay? So that means you are, when you see similarly, it gives a tone of agreement to the previous statement, okay? So first it was mentioned that lentils are excellent and, and an agreement to it. Yes, yes, Veda, it's comparing things that has near characteristics. Absolutely, absolutely, they are both similar. All right, now that's a clear cut hint that you have to use or you have to choose transition that is on a similar note, okay? So you have to look for a continuer that gives you a, a similarly, or if you have an option like similarly, you have to choose, okay? Or similar like or same like. Next is contradictors. What do they do? Just opposite. First, you have one sentence and just contradicting to that, you have a different idea. And to connect these two things, we have contradictors like alternatively or, or you have although, but, conversely, and so on. As to my right, you can see all the list. Yeah. Can you see to my right? Yeah, this one. This is the list. You should never, ever forget until you take the test, this part, okay? Even in your sleep, you should be able to tell me. If I wake you up in the middle of your sleep, <laughs> you should. Damn, that's called alternate. That is a contradictor, I know. So I'm sleep. Okay. <laughs> now, look at the example here. The rock star prince was multi-instrumentalist. 
having played 27 instruments on his debut album. Okay, that was his description. A great achievement has been mentioned about it. However, wait a minute, there is a contrast, there's a twist in the story. He's primarily remembered as guitarist and vocalist. Okay, basically he is a vocalist and guitarist. Later then he was being called as multi-instrumentalist and so on as he played 27 instruments. Oh my God, that's a mul multitude of, you know, talent. Hey, how many of you know uh, playing guitar? Anyone, any guitarist over here? Guitarist, vocalist, tabla, saxophone, anyone? Any extreme talents apart from uh, academics, cricket, IPL, blah, blah, blahs? Any talented kids here, over here? Vocalist, Mona, oh my God, you are like multi-talented. Okay. Veda. Okay. Wow. That goes great into your SOPs. Okay. So highlight these. Keep in your mind that for your college essays, I mean college uh, SOPs, you would be needing all these skills that you have. Right? Huh. Right now, let's work on the skill of how to place transitional words and phrases. Now, the third one is causes and effects. Of course, something happened. As a result, this is the outcome of it. And to my right, you can find the list again accordingly, as a result, as such, because consequently, okay, I want to stop over here for a while. Consequently is a word that has been repeatedly asked in the options. So it's like one of the transitional questions is Paka is going to be for checking your, testing your consequently uh, knowledge, okay? Your knowledge on do you really understand what is the transition word that is used for consequences? That means cause and effect. Under the cause and effect type of transitions, consequently, I, I mean, I made a list of words looking at the past, you know, few questions and all that. So I found that this consequently option type of questions have been very frequently asked, okay? So why am I giving this information? So that you will focus on the definition part. Clear? So, uh, <clears throat> okay, so some of those, all the three varieties, three types of transitions, you should never ever forget, okay? For adding information, for giving examples, def defining and clarifying, and emphasis, we have got only two, in fact and indeed, for comparing likewise and similarly, sequence of events previously, subsequently, finally is again, okay. Uh, here's another one. Please make a note on your book. Uh, please note it down. Finally is again one more transition that is exclusively tested. Okay. For that, you should know that in the previous sentences, you should find first, first some information followed by second information and finally what all happened. So you should know the transition, how the passages are moving from one information to another and how this finally is connecting to the last paragraph, oh, sorry, to the last sentences of the passage. Clear? All right. So that's all about these transitions. Based on these transitions only, you will have all the questions framed. Now, how do we work through transitions? Very important. Read the sentences or parts of the sentence. Always read, read, read passage. Okay. Uh, uh, you cannot read only sub superficially. Here you have to read clearly because first thing you should understand what was the previous sentence all about. Based on that, you can choose the rest of the, uh, based on that, you will choose the transitional words and always look for the relationship. What is happening? So in the previous sentence and the next sentence, are they agreeing or disagreeing? So this kind of relationship you have to check for. If you found the relationship, it becomes easy for you to choose the transitions. Am I clear? So, and also follow elimination process. I'll give you one example over here. Let's say the previous idea was some agreement part. Okay. Then you should look for what type of transitions? Yes. What you should look for? Do you, should you or will you be looking for contradictory transitions or cause or effect transitions? Or will you be looking for continuous? Everyone in the chat box, what type of transitions will you look for if the previous sentence and the next sentence or the next portion of the passage is both are like 
they are like going similar. So what type of transitions you will look for in the options? Yes, good, good, very good. Continuers. So under the category of con continuers, you will be look looking for the options. Let's say the previous uh, part or the portion of the passage is something different. And this, the second part is little different. How do you, what type of connectors will you use? There is a disagreement between them. Okay, disagreement clearly states that you are using contradictors. Like, however, and by the way, however is a very, very strong contradictor. So in case, in case, mind, mind it here. Okay, here I'm going to give you one more thing, which will be very commonly tested. And it's a trap. Okay, let's say in the options, in the options, synonymical words are given. Let's say, however, let's say consequently, consequently and followed by. If you have that option, what will you do? You will eliminate. Okay, don't, there is no second thought. If similar meaning words are there or similar meaning transitional expressions are there, you will eliminate without any second thought. That's why we should use elimination process, especially for transitional uh, type of questions. Clear? Number one, look for the agreements. If the two parts of the uh, passage are agreeing to each other, two ideas are agreeing, you will use continuous. Okay? If you are looking at the passage and you understand that the previous sentence versus the second part and like they're contradicting. You will be checking for contradictors. Number three, most importantly, if you are looking at the options where you found that, hey, wait a minute, both meaning same. Why would I choose between them? And SAT will never test same meaning words, okay? You will never get an option that has synonyms. You, the, mean, the answer is always right, but it should not be like both are same. So then you have to eliminate that. Clear? That's how you work with the elimination process. The more early you eliminate, the faster you reach up to your actual answer. Here you go. Your first question on your screens. Take a minute and blast the chat box. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, have you all read Vishnu? Why is it there for? Hmm? Okay, let's read the passage first properly. Okay, Baki sir, you know, relax. Conditions in the interiors of Antarctica are inhospitable. Okay, something not in good favor to many forms of life because it's sub zero temperatures high winds and extreme dryness make it impossible for most animals to survive. Okay, good. Why are everybody marking A, D, A, D? Okay. Why is it D? Why is it not A? Can anybody explain? Why is it D? Or why is it A? I just need an explanation to this. Uh, may I try, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, please, please try. Who is um, this? Vibas. Okay, go ahead. So, given in the passage below is the uh, reason as to why Antarctica is inhospitable. Perfect. For mm -hmm. its reasons like extreme dryness, high winds, temperatures, blah, blah, etc. and all. So, uh, the second part of the passage gives us uh, the uh, the necessary information. Mm -hmm. uh, like that around the Antarctica, Antarctic Peninsula, there are mm -hmm. survivable uh, conditions. So, we could say that... Uh, Comparatively, uh, since the conditions like that in Antarctica, we mm -hmm. have a survivable uh, 
a condition around it so therefore uh, could be used okay therefore or in contrast therefore means since or like uh, because of that because of that or because of that right so in the first paragraph in the first part of the passage it's clearly talking that you cannot survive there's harshness of temperatures and everything so the first part is absolutely negative no chance for the life to happen uh but wait a minute in antarctica peninsula and the surrounding islands have relatively mild temperatures and liquid water allowing many species species to thrive there in the interiors of antarctica is inhospitable however right however the surrounding islands have relatively mild temperatures which are favorable for the species to thrive thrive means to survive or to live so how can it be therefore the previous statement is about something negative the second sentence is about something positive how can we end up saying therefore uh, maybe because uh, since the antarctica is in such a condition that its surroundings have adopted a different oh my god that's exactly not what you should not do don't overthink you should only pick up clues which is available in the passage guys this is a very important lesson most of the students try to come up with this kind of explanations that's the reason why i want you to give me explanation okay this is purely because to read your what's running in your mind okay you should only look at what's happening in the passage so because no that was the reason no this no i saw in the national geographic na or nat but no don't come up with the past knowledge okay no assumptions a big no to assumptions don't assume anything i request everyone don't lose score because of the assumptions okay many students do this i know you're all smart kids but don't make dumb mistakes like this am i clear vibhas yes ma'am thank you for volunteering for my big statements on you <laughs> but it's out of love and correction okay okay good good very good so the first paragraph part of the uh, passage clearly states that nothing is possible to happen it's absolutely harsh no possibility of life however look at the other side the antarctica peninsula on the surrounding islands have relatively mild temperatures which is favorable for the growth so there is two sentences one on the negative side another one is on the positive side so two are contradicting so your answer is answer is in contrast how many of you ended up with d viva how many of you come up with d's darlings d for darling ha huh? so many in the chats <laughs> all right veda that's a good explanation anish wonderful good i hope i'm clear right ha huh. good handita very good so now let's move on to the next part of our discussion second question for everyone take time don't jump to assumptions no assumptions please Hmm. Chalo. Let's read out some of the answers. C. Okay. A, ma'am. A. A. Okay. Okay. Saisha. A. Come on, dude. Not fair. <laughs> When do we say in addition? Huh? when do we see in addition okay let's eliminate first of all nevertheless why am i eliminating nevertheless it's a con nevertheless when do we say nevertheless yes when do we use huh nevertheless it is a contradictory ma'am okay nonetheless nevertheless We, it's not contradictory nevertheless nonetheless are used for regardless okay 
whenever you find regardless, regardless means you're trying to give an uh, you know explanation to it, like regardless of this, she did this. So nonetheless, nevertheless, these are all synonyms to regardless. So this is not going to be no, the right answer for us. I'm eliminating that. Accordingly, well, accordingly means what? As per the as per the certain mosses, lichens, and microscopic protozoans, guys, don't get into these, okay? Don't worry about the scientific words. They have nothing to do with. All you have to work is on the transitional part. In addition means you're adding one more point. So in addition, certain mosses, lichens, and microscopic protozoa has adapted to harsh. How? So let, if you want to write in addition, there should be something. Be, this is talking about despite the sub-zero temperatures, high winds and extreme dryness that, char that characterize the Arctic interiors, a small number of hardy species dwell there. Mm, okay. They're talking in, even though those conditions are not in favor, there are some small number, a small number of hardy species like even in the extreme conditions, these can grow. Dwell means what? What's the meaning of dwell? To dwell. The picker, it's not accordingly. Huh. To live. Uh, dwell, uh, to live, yes, ma'am. To Good. live there. So they are still living there. Now, what are, what are they giving? What are these mosses, lichens, proto microscopic pro protozoans? They all belong to this hardy species. Okay. So the first statement was even the scenario was, is not in favor of growth. However, there are some animals or there are some species that are dwelling over there. And he has given some list of names. What does it mean? Huh? What does it mean? Come on. You're giving the example. Yes, he's giving an example specification. Very good, Vipas. Very good. He is specifically mentioning about the mosses, lichens, and the protozoas. Okay. Now there is no option like for example here. So what is the other thing that you have to look for? Specifically, certain when you say certain means in a small the number is small. In that also he has mentioned three important species, and that to certain mosses, not all types of mosses. So when you say not all types means specifically some types, right? Are you all getting me? It is not accordingly certain. Accordingly means what? The previous statement has to have a connection to this, the rest of the sentence. How is it accordingly? When do we use accord accordingly, by the way? Accordingly means as the context is continuing. We are not continuing anything over here. We will do it accordingly. Accordingly, according to the timings, we will follow. So, accordingly, the schedule is fixed. As per the availability of the students, accordingly, the schedule has been made. So, something should happen in connection to that, accordingly will be used. But here, in addition means we are adding one more point to it. This is not adding a new point. Nor nevertheless means regardless. This is not regardless of the situation. Regardless means in spite of that, something happened, kind of. Specifically means he has mentioned some examples. Not just any, but some specific ones only he's talking about. Am I clear? Specifications? Okay. Any doubts? So the answer is B, not A, C, or D. Everyone? Am I Mama, clear? I have a question. Go ahead. Um, what if there is an option of specifically and uh, for example? Like which of no, you them? will not get like, for example, he will mention, then they will come up with, uh, for example, mosses, lichens and microscopic protozoa. He will not mention it as certain mo mosses. Okay. Clear? Okay. Yes, you should look for this. Certain means what? Specific, right? Yes, ma'am. Right. You are very specifying it. Then only you will use specifically. Clear? Look for these hint words, right? Mm. All right, let's move on to the next part. When your uh, con transitional words are placed between two commas, that's again a hint for you, okay? That uh, you should look for a transition. Sometimes the transitions are used between the commas. 
Okay. Now, read out to yourself. Vijay, is it B? <coughs> hmm? Don't rush. Take time. Explain it to yourself as if you're explaining someone. Think like that. Okay. Perfect. By the way, I said, however, is pretty, you know, frequent. So you can also think on those lines. Healthy Arctic marine animals have thick layer of fat beneath the skin. Chalo, we understood that. Okay. Some, some description about it. Some information about these Arctic marine mammals. They have thick fat beneath the skin. Tropical marine mammals, black, have very few fat reserves in their body. Okay. For that reason only, you know, because of the less fat reserves, they are dwelling primarily in the warm waters. If they have, if let's say, uh, if they have, uh, you know, this fat reserves more, why would they dwell in the warm waters, right? They have very less number of reserves in their body, okay? So, there are two things that are contradicting here. What? First statement says, healthy Arctic marine mammals have thick layer of fat beneath the skin. But tropical marine mammals, their tropical means what? Do they belong to Arctic? Tropical means the sunny ones, the one which we are living. We live in a tropical country where sun is like burning us like anything. <laughs> tropical marine mammals, however, have very few fat reserves in their body. The previous one have thick layer beneath their skin and this tropical people, uh, the mammals have what? Less number of fat reserves in their body. That's why because of that reason only they are living primarily in the warm waters that surrounded by coral reefs. Okay. Now, whoever have missed out with the however, please look into the, you know, the definition of however. When do we use however? And also don't jump to conclusions so early. I understand your enthusiasm, but you're losing score. All smart kids don't make dumb, you know, uh, guesses. Because it's very pretty common. All dumb answers and you're going to lose score. Am I clear with the howevers? Let's move on to the next one. Okay, take a minute. First, eliminate. Mm hmm Okay. Good, Vishnu. Yes. Good. Mona, good. Veda, perfect answer. Veda, can you unmute and tell why is it? Yes, so ma'am. Go ahead. Ma'am, uh, we don't have to care about actually the first sentence, but here actually they are telling healthy brain mammals have thick layer of fat beneath the skin. And after the blank, they told they are able to tolerate much colder water. So it's a continuation of the sentence. So it, that's what it will say. Okay. Now, by the way, if you look under, under the categories also, the one, the three categories I've taught you, yet comes under the contradiction. We are looking not at the contradiction part. Whereas is again a contradiction, right? Whereas, this versus this, right? Whereas, for is used for giving reason, but we have to explain the reason behind what, in contrast, healthy Arctic marine mammals have thick layer of fat beneath their skin. Blank, they are able to, that is the reason why they are able to tolerate much colder waters. And what is the transitional word for, that is the reason why? So, okay. Am I clear? Everyone, look for those continuous contradictors and cause and effects type of transitions. Once they justify that, there you go. You can eliminate the ones which are not making, which comes under. You know, once you read the passage, you understood that something, you no know, connection which we want to try to uh, uh, establish a relationship here using those three transitional expressions or transitional categories. Right. So, yes, Veda, good. 
yet deepika why yet yet is used as a contradictor i want to do do it yet i couldn't in contrast so don't hear don't use the plug in for words in context you can use that like let me plug in and see whether this word fits or not but for transitions it does not work like that first read the passage understand what are is it talking about agreements or disagreements it's a continuation look at the idea they are expressing after the first uh, or just before the blank okay what's happening before the blank and after the blank and what should you put there to establish a relationship between these two clauses or sentences that's the only thing you have to do over here all right now let's look at some more yes okay very good very good you all got the context consequently all picked it up very well yes aisha very good good we are talking about so who how many of you didn't understand this c let me hold the c who is this c okay acha <laughs> okay a what is a why alternatively although ts elot devoted several years of writing the wasteland so he is devoted so much of his time his everything for this particular book it sold only only about 330 copies oh my god <laughs> in the six months following its publication in 19 1922 why is alternatively eloit was forced to seek other sources of income he is not alternatively as a result of that due to the re due to that reason because he has devoted so much of time on this particular writing he couldn't earn or anything on it just 333 330 copies now what he has to do because of that reason because he spent so much of time only with this book he couldn't earn anything for that reason he had to seek other income sources of income right moreover is when do we use moreover as a continuer right in fact when do we say in fact yes in fact when do we say in fact in fact is definitely not our answer uh, in fact is like emphasizing on you know you're trying to put more spotlight on the rest of the sentence okay so in fact no that doesn't come that doesn't fit to our requirement consequently is because he spent so much of time and nothing got sold and he is like i need money right now if i have to further continue my profession i need to write right and look at the other one in the mid 1920s he took a job as a director of new publishing firm called faber and faber so that means as a result of the previous action he had to work this is cause and effect this happened therefore this is the result okay so consequently is your answer now let us look at one of the digital sat question get ready everyone there are three important things that you can see over here okay yes vibhas good good last year very good that's the right answer yes aisha vishnu everyone very good you are literally rocking with transitional questions i'm pretty sure there are six questions for transitional questions you will get it just like that but don't get over confidence okay see abhinav perfect good answer now somebody unmute and tell us why is it last year can you explain why is your answer correct uh, because the last uh, uh sentence mm -hmm. in 1983 the bill passed that is the result of few events that were happening since 1968 okay uh they said that in 1968 right. he introduced a bill and Absolutely. then the bill didn't 
make it to a vote then he teamed up with the women to be elected to congress so those were a series of events and Correct. finally this occurred so i was actually waiting for the word called sequence or series so when do we use finally subsequently or uh, in the first hand on the first hand when do we use for, or for or the first time we use when we are trying to next after later we use for sequence right sequence means first one event happened what is what was it 1968 thing then later what happened the bill didn't make it to a vote but conyers was determined next what happened he teamed up with the so called shirley the black woman right and finally what happened after 15 years the third event happened what was the third event the bill passed so finally the bill got passed right so that's how you use the transitional expression or transitional word for sequence so everybody got it i see that most of your answers are correct so i think you all got the context right let's do one more before we close shall we yes or no i want some yes say yay in the chat box y a y a y no na n a y yes mona good mona is so excited <laughs> good shri that's the spirit so we'll go two more questions and then we'll close the session i'll pro give you all the practice questions okay now here comes another one Shh. your man loves drama you know what <laughs> okay one more consequently see secondly mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay come on d last year d okay good that's it no more answers maha good 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 c abhinav why is it c unmute come on unmute and tell me why have you marked it c so they used to think see what happened geo scientists have long considered means they thought that the hawaii mona leo volcano to be earth's largest shield volcano by volume measuring approximately da 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 number of kilometers okay so they assumed they thought these scientists have caught something so if you have to write some dumb summary like this what was it so the first they thought something they thought okay they thought uh, or they used to think like this they used to think they have long considered means they used to think that whatever they have made our statement right that this was 74000 cubic kilometers blank according to 2020 study now a new study has come up by local geo scientists uh, hawaii's shield volcano now again a new concept has come Hawaii's Puhahana shield volcano significantly larger. So again, we have second thought, second information actually, right? So what was the first belief that this was considered to be the largest in the volume? However, wait a minute. There's a twist in the story. What's the twist? recently the so called new scientists local geo scientists have declared that significantly means something which is bigger larger boasting a volume about so this so called mona leo volume a volcano is no more the largest the second one has come up so secondly does not fit because this is not a sequence consequently is as a result of moreover is like you are adding a additional point no we are not adding here there is a contradiction over here so therefore contradictory or contradictor connector or transition you will be using is however is that clear with the explanation 
right yes mona d yes wait who is this always puts a question mark next to the answer why are you not so sure chal be confident whatever you're answering see why what happens is if you if you have a question mark in your mind every time you have that question mark okay that will reflect on your test date also so try to manipulate your mind saying that of course it has to be true again come up with the right answer and be very confident your answer is correct even though your answer is correct you're always in the two minds two thoughts this one or that one never go to use this question mark in your mind whatever is in your mind that was only reflecting on your chat box okay so be like absolutely confident when you know the concept you're very much clear with the concept right you know what are contradictors you know what are continuous so why do you need to again have a question mark right be very confident you are perfectly doing well here's the last question for today's discussion All right, let's see. Achha, Lassia, see? Okay. Saisha, that's correct. Mona, absolutely correct. Girl, you're rocking like anything. In addition, yes, Deepika, that's correct. Vinkat, correct. Perfect. Good. Veda, perfect. That's, that's a correct answer, A. Now, why is it A and why is it not C, B and D? In addition, what are we trying to do over here? Samuel Coleridge Taylor was prominent classical music composer from England who toured the US three times, da, 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 and all that. Child of the West African father and an English mother. A lot of description about this guy. And emphasized his mixed race ancestry. Okay. For example, okay, here comes the story. He referred to himself, himself as Anglo-African. All right. I get it. Blank, he incorporated the sounds. So, so much of explanation is happening about him. How can it be? However, yeah. seriously, however, he incorporated the sounds of traditional African music into his classical. He calls himself as Anglo-African. He, he is really happy. He's emphasizing on his rich culture that he's born to, you know, um, somebody who was toured in three times and all that. He's born to an U.S., a uh, West African father and an English mother is super happy with that. <laughs> He's flaunting his ancestry also, also, right? So it definitely cannot be contradiction. He's super happy with his, uh, his bloodline, okay? So it cannot be, however, I'm going to eliminate that. First elimination job. Let's work on the elimination part. Regardless, regardless means even though this has happened, in spite of this happened, things didn't go well. Regardless, alternate words are nevertheless, nonetheless. Okay. Next, actually, actually means you're trying to emphasize. But wait a minute. He is actually, we are, it's an add-on add -on point. One more point has been added about him. There's so much being told about him. And there's one more point. In addition, he actually incorporated or additionally, he incorporated the sounds also of traditional Afro-African music. Okay. So your answer is in addition, you're adding a point because so far you have added so many points. For example, is also added and again, a new point, but just about him only, right? One more point about him. So that's, that means you're supposed to use a continuer. Everything is positive till so far, till the blank. And again, a new positive point is added. That's why we are saying in addition. Clear? Think on those lines and you will certainly make it. So C is definitely not the answer. Veda and everyone, A is your answer. Very good. And you did pretty well for today. All right. So let me stop it over here. And um, good job, everyone. Appreciations to everyone. And I want the same spirit to go on for the next sessions also. 
The next session will be on the big picture type of questions like central idea questions, main idea questions, and then you have uh, logically text completion questions. We'll be working on the reading aspects, okay? So for the coming sessions, you'll be proactive. If, you, if at all you missed out anything or probably you missed out any class, don't worry. Uh, I'll be posting that in my channel so you can actually go through it. But make sure that you are you always make a point that because we are meeting only for two days a week and that too for an hour. So don't miss out at any cost. If you have anything urgent, only if it is emergency, make sure that you're taking leave. Otherwise, better 